Yo, what's up, gladiators? Welcome back to the Coliseum. I was here back with another video, and today, as you can see in the title, I'm going to be giving out my DLC prediction slash wish list um, for the possible, kind of hinted, teased at a uh, next season or DLC season of Dragon Ball Fighters. And basically, how this is going to work is I'm gonna it's going to be half prediction, half wish list you know and then some of the characters might overlap but i try to make it distinct so um i have seven characters on my wish list and seven characters on my prediction um i don't think there will be seven characters but i just thought i'd you know have that kind of amount for each one and then for the neither of them out overlap so for the characters on my wish list you won't be seeing them on the actual prediction even though i do think a couple of the people on my wish list could be um pretty likely to actually make it in as the DLC. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is my wish list. So for my wish list, the I'm just gonna say them all at once and then I guess I'll talk about them. My seven characters on my wish list are one, Super Boo, two, Tapion, three, Android 13, four, View, five, Debora, six, Bojack, and then seven, kind of outlandish, kind of redundant, because uh, I do know Dragon Ball Fighters likes to do their duplicate characters, but my boy Cooler, Metal Cooler, actually. Uh, I wouldn't mind having another Cooler. And so the reason I, I chose the characters I want is just because I think Super Boo would play pretty cool. I feel like he could be like a mixture of Cell and Gotenks, Tapion. I mean, uh, Xenoverse has shown that they can flesh out some of these characters. Um, they never even fought in the anime, so hopefully they can take some uh, they can take some creative tips from Xenoverse and implement that in Dragon Ball Fighters. I'd really like that. Android thirteen, pretty self explanatory. One of the big major movie villains. Um, very surprised we haven't gotten him yet. If we do uh, get another season of DLC, I definitely see him making it in there. And then for a few. Um, you know, in Xenoverse, they have a lot of characters from Dragon Ball's other franchises. I think they have Shallot in there, actually. Um, but they also have, you know, Supreme Kai of Time you can play. I know she's from Xenoverse, but you can play as her. Um, they got new, brand new original characters like Few. They got Android 21 in there. So I could definitely see and hope for fighters to actually bring some characters over from their other IPs. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'd want Shallot, but Few is definitely a character that I do want. I can also see them doing the twins or uh, I think Demigra, that one guy from uh, from the first universe. I, I definitely see all those characters uh, having a really good shot at uh, making it in. Actually, maybe not, but I, I still like them. It, it would make sense. It would be pretty good for every, for all of their uh for all of their games that they got going on. And then after a few, I had Deborah. Pretty self-explanatory. Could have a really cool moveset. Not the most popular, but not the least popular either. I feel like a, a lot of people definitely um, would like to see some Deborah out here in Dragon Ball Fighters. And then same thing with Bojack. He's probably one of the lesser popular um, villains from the movies. But nonetheless, I really like him. I think he's pretty cool. And I would like to see him in the game. Maybe not in this season or next season. Eventually, I don't know, man. Make Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or something. Just keep on adding these Dragon Ball characters. Because there's so far that they can go. And then Metal Cooler. I kind of already explained Metal Cooler. I feel like, um, you know, Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball Fighters at least has no problem adding in duplicate DLC characters, so you know why not just throw Metal Cooler's hat in the ring? Cause it just seems like it makes sense. And now for the actual prediction. So these are characters, like I said, characters from my wish list could be, you know, they could be likely like Super Boo. I definitely see him having a pretty good chance of getting in. Um, but for these predictions, it's more of the the logical ones, the ones that I feel like. And then first off is Raditz. Everyone wants Raditz. I mean, I would even like Raditz. You know, he he just seems like common sense, no brainer character. Should have been here from day one. And the people that say, oh, Raditz doesn't have that much uh, stuff going on. Kakarot gave him a full fleshed out move set. They have a bunch of you know fake move sets. Just just use something from there. You know, people want Raditz. Uh, I am personally indifferent towards Raditz. Like I said, I kind of like I like him. I wouldn't mind him in. I think it would be cool. But I'm not out here begging for Raditz, you know. I don't like the diaper look that uh, some of the Saiyans had. Like how Nappa has the diaper and all that. Uh, and then same thing with our number two spy is... So we have Raditz, which is a Goku relative. But, you know, every season of DLC has had a had a Goku himself. So Or a Goku, I guess, lookalike. I couldn't really think of another Goku. So I put Turles. I would like 
Turles. I think he's a pr pretty cool character. He also has that diaper, like I said, which I don't like. I don't like the diaper look. I really don't, but I definitely could see him in there. And then third, uh, with how much y'all beg for another one of this character, I could... Uh, there's, there's probably going to be a Vegeta in this DLC, uh, honestly. There, there's probably going to be one. Um, the three Vegetas I see uh, coming to the game, and I'm going to announce them from the ones that I want the least to the ones that I would be the most and like, eh, okay with. The one that I want the least is definitely Vegeta Blue Evolved. Those of y'all that want Vegeta Blue Evolved, why? Why? Why do you want that character? You already have a blue Vegeta and you want to evolve blue Vegeta? Like, this so... I feel like it's a complete waste of a DLC slot, but, uh, you know, whatever. And then the next one I could see, uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Just because it at least has a different hair color. He didn't do anything different in the anime, really. So, I guess, uh, I mean, maybe they can pull stuff from the manga or whatever. Either way, no, I don't want it. I don't want another Vegeta, but the most likely Vegeta to get in would probably be Majin Vegeta, and I would be the, I would be, you know, the least opposed to that, you know, I don't mind a Majin Vegeta, Majin Vegeta is pretty cool, so, you know, why not Bandai, if you want to throw in Majin Vegeta, go ahead and do it, I know y'all probably going to put another Vegeta, and then after that, uh, I have Topo on my list for predictions, I could see a, another super character being definitely a par for the course so uh topo and then right th after that at number five uh dispo i would i wouldn't want topo i'm not the biggest fan of his character design i do not want to see ribriant she's not on my predictions or my wish list i do not want to see her in this game um but yeah, i don't really like topo's design that much especially with the weird mustache she's got going on i'm not really the biggest fan of him um and then Dispo, I would prefer Dispo. Same thing, I don't know. I mean, he, they would obviously make him cool. And I do like Dispo, but I wouldn't prefer him. I would prefer him over Topo, but, you know, they, they, they would do something with Dispo. I definitely see another super character coming in. And then at number six on my uh, predictions, we have Goku. And hold on, I'm going to insert this real quick. Higher, higher up on the prediction list, I'll see Omega Shenron. Uh, definitely going to probably throw in another GT character, so Omega Shenron will probably be up there, so I guess we'll have eight for the actual predictions. But yeah, back to what I was saying, Goku, definitely see them adding another Goku, it's, it's, come on, it's the main character, they gotta get that money, um, they, they're just bound to throw in another Goku, and then one last addition, a little, a little bit of a honorable mention would be a Caulifla, I don't know why they would do it, I really hope they don't, but I could see it happening, like I said, they don't mind these duplicate characters, but yeah, we're just going to have to see. <laughs> we're just going to have to see. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you're going to think. And do the same thing. If you're free to give four for each, if you want, or however many you want for each for predictions and then four on your wish list. If you can, if you're on Bandai Namco staff yourself. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video, guys. Until next time, stay awesome.